duping the IRS from behind bars. We're talking about 1,300 convicts who cashed in on the home buyer's tax credit, even though the only home they have right now is a prison cell. In fact, 241 of them are serving life sentences. Joining us is Dan Mitchell, senior fellow at the Cato Institute, nonprofit public policy research foundation. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. You know, people are listening to this and they're saying, are you kidding me? How does this happen? And, and I guess that's the logical question. How does this happen? Well, it really is amazing that it does happen because we have 100,000 bureaucrats at the IRS and in theory, before they start distributing money via a tax credit, and don't forget for you viewers out there, a tax credit is really just government spending laundered through the tax system. But in theory, before they distribute this money, they're supposed to have matching records. I mean, heck, if you or I tried to give, take some sort of deduction, the IRS would want to know the proof of why we're claiming it. So we have 100,000 bureaucrats who sit around theoretically with matching records, and yet they still make this kind of mistake. So when the IRS and there's said no, there's that... there's no explanation. So, well, what the IRS said to us was that in many cases they use the address of relatives. So these addresses actually did exist, and that's why they didn't find them. Does that ring true to you? Well, I'm sure there was a reason for it, but in theory, matching records are supposed to exist before they start giving out money. Now. I actually want to say something vaguely in defense of the IRS. We have tax law and regulation of over 70,000 pages. Congress has spent the last 90 years, or almost 100 years, since the income tax was created in 1913, creating a monstrosity that is so confusing that taxpayers, tax professionals, and even the IRS don't know how to interpret it. So part of the problem belongs with Congress because they're the ones who created a terrible housing tax credit program that never should have existed in the first place. Does something else though sound fishy about this to you? Because I mean, we're not going to believe that somehow 1,300 convicts just randomly all happen to have the same idea to go after these uh, first-time homebuyer tax credits. And in addition, apparently a number of these claims were filed by professional tax preparers. Well, I have no doubt that either through the prison grapevine or through some of this, you know, some of the less than uh, honest tax preparers, uh, that people were deliberately figuring out, hey, the government's giving away money, let's go ahead and get our share. We know there's lots of fraud in the earned income credit program, and we know, of course, the so-called stimulus was riddled with fraud of various kinds. When government is giving away other people's money, there are dishonest people out there who are going to figure out, I'm going to get in line and take some of this. Well, at least they figured it out now, so let's hope they uh, have a fail-safe in the future. Thank